What is going on guys, Eagle Aquatics back here and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how I do my maintenance on my filter socks and protein skimmer cup. How I do my maintenance on my filter sock without using bleach or a washing machine. So this should be an awesome video for those of you who don't want to use your washing machine because it's gross um, or that don't want to use bleach. Um, so make sure to stay tuned to the end of this video because there is a giveaway happening. That's right. There is a giveaway from a company and it's pretty cool. Alright guys, we are down here in the fish maintenance room. Uh, down in my basement with the sink and here is the old filter sack. Completely gross. Um, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to clean your filter sacks really fast so you don't have to do in a washing machine or use bleach. Because uh, me personally, my parents won't let me put them in the washing machine. I'm not going to buy another washing machine just for filter sacks. That's a waste of money. And I also don't like using any sort of deadly chemicals that could become deadly, uh, like bleach. But I know a lot of people use bleach and I know that's a proven method, so I'm not going to bash that. I'm just going to show you guys how to do it without using that. I've uh, I found out my method. It works great. Uh, my levels are all at near zero nitrates, phosphates, and I rotate, rotate between four filter socks. I change mine every three to four days depending on how dirty I see them get. And uh, it works pretty good for me. So follow along guys, I'll show you how to do it. Here we go. See this ring on the top? That's where my water level is. And that's where the bubbles come up so the most crap gets stuck up there. And when you flip it inside out, you can't get up there. So I'm gonna, I do this. Go around a couple times with my thumbs. Just scrub that top line. Dirty top line. And look at that guys, the top line is gone. Just by using my thumbs and going in a circle. It works great. I only had to go around once, sometimes twice depending on how dirty the sock is. And then I flip it to spray, spray the inside of the sock so all the, most of the bigger stuff goes to the bottom. And then flip it inside out. that down there now I'll lightly go over it the inside so all the stuff goes out the bottom and a lot of stuff does come off when you just do this now we'll go on the outside squeeze it a couple times bring it out this works very good. Usually, guys, depending, because I like them really clean, I'll use um, probably three to five minutes. Usually like three minutes. Just wring it out like this. Because a lot of stuff gets out and it works. And look at that guys, that is a clean sock, at least as clean as it's going to get uh, by doing this. And I believe it's just as good as using bleach, there's not much left over, and my levels prove it. My nitrates are anywhere between 0 and 5, uh, phosphates are pretty much 0, and I just do this, that is clean. That is pretty clean. It looks like dirty at the bottom, but actually it's pretty clean. I'll show you guys an aftermath with, when it's all dry too. But this is my method I use to clean my filter socks so I don't have to use a washing machine or use bleach. 
It might take a little more work than doing those, but it's faster and uh, it's so you don't have to use your washing machine because it's kind of gross. And guys, here is the aftermath. It is all dry and that thing looks pretty much brand new. Now I've used these socks, believe it or not, uh, from the start. I have four different ones, uh, continuously uh, swapping them out, cleaning them, and they still look like this just by not using water, washing machine uh, or bleach. They last a long time. So next guys, we're gonna clean out my skimmer cup. Now look at all that crap in there. It is disgusting. This stuff smells extremely bad. So what I do to make it not spread all over the room, turn the water on, take the lid off, you're gonna get a whiff of that good fish crap, fish pea smell. Just dump it straight down the drain, right there. A lot of people even dump it down the toilet, that's okay too. And you just go around, rinse that. Look at that. This skimmer is excellent though. I rave about it, it is great. I have, here's a sponge, go around. This thing looks brand new after you clean it good. Go around and clean that top. On, on the outside. Bring out the sponge. Boom, that fast. Look at that, that stuff comes right off. Just place that over here. Get the skimmer cup going. I'm gonna clean out the neck with the sponge since it's so big. If you don't, I'll show you another method you can use if you have a smaller skimmer and can't get your hand in the skimmer neck. That. Skimmer neck is clean. Now we gotta get to the inside of here. If you have a smaller skimmer that's not as big as mine, you can't fit your hand in the neck to get it with a sponge, use one of these. Wire, uh, little bristle brushes for cleaning. They sell them at like any local fish store, or PetSmart, or anywhere. Uh, I like to use this to clean around the cup itself. Oh, I do that. Turn the water back on. Yeah, but this is great. You go in like that, clean it out. What I do, set it down there, go around in a few circles. This doesn't scratch the acrylic. At least not mine. Go around in there. A little more in the neck. Wash it out a few more times. Clean that off. And boom. That's all it takes. Do maintenance on your skimmer whenever it starts getting dirty or you see as much as what was in mine. Uh, it's really easy. It doesn't take long at all and it just makes your skimmer more effective to remove more stuff in your water. So then I always like to dry it off, dry the outside, make it look good. Dry the neck. Yeah, cause you don't want to put it in too wet cause you don't want any of this water getting in your reef tank. Although it'll probably be diluted. Clean. Look at that guys, that looks brand new, brand new. See ya guys. Let's get these two things back on the tank. All right, guys, we're back in the sump. Just got a new, brand new, fresh sock on it. The cleaned one. Uh, looks great. Uh, gonna catch more stuff for me. Let's put the uh, skimmer cup back on. It's easy with this skimmer. Just, it's got a seal right there. You just press it back down. Let's bring the bubbles back up. 
here they come. I tune mine so the micro bubbles are right underneath here. I'll show you. That gives room for the big bubbles on the top. And it does, it's not hard at all. See the line of micro bubbles? Right there, there's a color difference down there. The darker one, I like having right it there. So it is perfect right now. So yeah, let that skimmer go back to work. Look at that, it looks brand new though. And it's really easy. New sock. All right guys, that has been uh, how I clean out my filter socks and my skimmer cup. Um, so as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you're still stay tuned, um, there is a giveaway from Premium Aquatics. Premium Aquatics, a well-known online aquarium retailer I bought from them over the years. Great company. Um, they are doing a giveaway through my channel um, for a $25 gift card. So if you want to enter to win, the drawing will be on my next reef tank update sometime in the coming weeks, uh, probably next week. Um, but it's for a $25 gift card, you gotta subscribe to my channel and leave a comment on uh, my tank or a question or something and you'll be entered into the drawing. And also make sure to go over, on over to their site. They got some awesome, pro awesome products at uh, really good prices and uh, they're just a great company. So uh, if you wanna win that $25 gift card, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment also.